Welcome to Radio Fixer's channel. Subscribe for upcoming videos. In this video, I will discuss how to repair or restore vintage speakers to get the best result. I will focus in four different speakers since they need different type of repairs. In first speaker, I will focus on repairing a speaker cone that was damaged. The second speaker, I will show you how to repair a speaker cone that portion of them is missing. The third speaker, I will replace damaged speaker cone with a new cone. And the last one, if you just have a speaker shell, I will show you how to rebuild the entire speaker yourself, including a speaker cone, a speaker spider, a speaker voice coil, a speaker transformer to get the great result. Let's get it started. Before we get it started, I want to bring to your attention that some of my subscribers contacted me and mentioned that they are not receiving a notification when I upload new videos. I'm not sure if you know it or not, as YouTube a while ago changed the process of subscription. Don't ask me why, you know, <laughs> they made it more difficult uh, for user. So here, as you see my screen, it shows subscribe. So yours, if it's like this and the bell is not on, you are not going to get notification. So use the drop down here and select all. From here on, YouTube will send you notification when I upload new videos. Also, meanwhile, you're here, I try to make this as simple as possible. You can search videos, all the videos here, or playlist. There is a categories that you can go there and see. You know, it depends what you are interested. You're interested to fabricate part. Whatever it is, I categorize this to be easier for you to find a video. Hopefully this will help you. Tonight, uh, what I want to do, I want to fix this speaker. And as you can tell, you know, I don't know if you can see it or not. So I'm going to try to fix this. See, this is the back of it. Big hole. Got this glue, really is deflexible. I did this with several speakers and they work great. Finding these speakers is getting harder and harder. So it's best to repair them. Uh, so I didn't, I don't have anything to replace the entire cone. But let me show you what I do. This actually, I add the glue in there, I add some water. Usually it's pretty thick, so I want to make make it thin, like that. All right. So what I will do, I'm gonna just drop this on the speaker cone and let it sit until it dry. Like here's a crack. Like that's all. So I'm going to do entire speaker, like this area is popping up, to try to level it like that and put some glue over it. All right, that is how it's been fixed. So I'm going to finish all this and then I will show you the end result. All right, I put two very light coats on the speaker. I haven't finished this side yet. First, I finish the other side, as you see. This too light coat, what it does really, I'm going to wait until it dry. Then I want to focus to fix this side. I don't want to mess around with it. This again, this was the area that was pretty bad condition. But this thing is not bad at all. And when it dry, the difference between this glue and other glue, this is, as I mentioned earlier, it is really f flexible. When it dry, it is flexible and it worked perfect. So I'm going to wait again to dry. Then I'm going to focus to finish this area. See, it's already glue went through all other area here as well. When I dry, you hardly can see it. Hopefully this can help for those of you who like to repair your speaker. And when this totally dried up and I finish it, I'm going to show it to you at the end result. Okay, it's past 24 hours or so. So you see, this is how the speaker now looks. Looks pretty neat. And I'm working this couple of small holes. 
but this is stainless speak here. Came off just very, very nice. So I'm using the same, the same glue that we discussed. But this time I'm not adding any water to it. I just put a small drop where it needed. Trying to fill up those holes. That is where the glue that I just put down. When it dry, you cannot even see it. Now this is how I protect the speakers, like this one. So you contain it like that, right here inside. All right, and it's protected. Put a couple of holes. The twisty on it, as you see. Now I can store this somewhere to be preserved for a long time. Might put it inside some type of Ziploc bag too, for the dust doesn't get to it. And this is the speaker been damaged as you see of course i don't have a new cone for it so i'm going to try to repair this it's in very poor condition but i hooked it up to the radio and the speaker actually works so that's a good sign so i'm going to try to save this again it is in very bad condition first i'm going to fix this area let it dry then I have to fix piece by piece it says this is the thickness I'm going to use good thing about this glue is it is a flexible after it dries it's not totally get hard you know it's get flexible so it's great to use for a speaker Man, I don't know what happened to this speaker but something got to it I'm holding it from the bottom get them leveled this is a little thick I need to make it a little thinner so it lay better they usually dry pretty fast and it's pretty thick paper believe it or not yeah, yeah I use a coffee filter and cut the size let me show you the back I put a one coat of that glue all over well let it dry then Try to put one more code, very light code. Okay, I let this set for about 48 hours and already everything dried up. That's the back. And I'm going to put some glue in the back too, so they all be even. And maybe one code more inside. Should be able to be fine now. And I, I realize this is the oldest speaker, you know, and this is the old radio. The sound not going to be that great anyhow. That's why I'm just fixing this to stay as original as possible. I start in the back. Put some glue old as the area that they can actually reach. All right, I'm going to let this now sit for a little bit to dry. Should dry pretty quick, and then I'm gonna turn it around and do the other side. One more coat, then we are done with the speaker. All right, this is the end result. What I really did, I saved the speaker. So I tried to fix the cone, but then it was in very bad condition, so I removed it. I remove the voice coil. I put a little tape over there so dust doesn't get to it. There's a lot of rust here. I need to take care of those rust. Finally, online, you know, I find a cone for it. Hopefully, it will fit. Right now, what I'm doing, I'm desoldering all these wires. You know, they're pretty old and need a different insulation on them so it doesn't touch the body. So that's all I'm doing, removing this connection. 
save the profile. All right, I already loosened this up with a much bigger screwdriver because you know it's sitting in for what seven years or so. Of course, I'm going to use this product, use the brush. Everybody's rust. I'm going to use this. Let it sit overnight, maybe a few hours, then clean it up. Of course, I have to do here as well as there's a little rust inside, not that much inside. I'm going to pour this inside a little container, then from the container I use a brush. Of course, as you know, you don't want to touch that. You're just going to let it sit. It's going to be much easier than the rust with this. You keep the rust away. But I could sand it, but still, if you sand it, you know, rust will come back if you're not preparing correctly. Primed it today, I finished painting it. And so the painting is done. I'm going to let it dry. I received a new cone, a speaker cone for it. I'm going to try to install it tonight. Working back in this speaker for Philco and I already shammed them. I shammed the voice coil inside. Speaker already last night sealed this together. So I'm going to use contact cement over there and also around the ring. Also, I'm going to put it on a cone, then install the cone. Yeah, put the cone back in. It's sealed all around inside. There's two wires the voice coil uh, to the cone. I put some glue over it. This is the glue I use just to protect the wire because it's pretty thin in a wire. You don't want to get damaged. You know, these two right here. And then resolder them back together. And did the own braiding is really pretty good. I'm gonna wait until this dry to put those dust cap in it. I need to clean inside before I put a dust cap. And assemble the speaker this side as well. We'll remove all these uh, papers. Take some time to do all this, but you know the results going to be great. It says it's looking good. It's not the, any paint anywhere. Now I'm going to hook up the second one. I'm going to hook this up. So what I do, I usually have one piece of material like that. You know, so I cut a piece out of this and keep cutting it until it's a nice size. Glue it around it and install it. Okay, we're gonna wait until this dry, then we're gonna test it on the radio. What I'm gonna try to do restore this speaker. I already took the parts out. Let's see if this darn thing gonna work. I'm sure it's gonna work, but we will find out, right? Okay. But I'm not going to glue it until, you know, test it on a speaker right now. I put those chemical rust remover and uh, that's where the hole goes as well, right in the center. So I did a measure the distance from the center to corner. I'm cutting another piece. This is the piece. This goes here. As you see, it's a little larger. Already marked it. It's going to bend like that. Okay, this is the idea. This goes in here. All right, folks, uh, planning to make the voice coil. These are the material I'm using. It's very time consuming. It should be side, be exact. It's, as you see how it's moving, this is good. 
that's the way it's supposed to be you know loose also it fit the speaker excellent that is very good as you saw the spider was finished I installed the coil inside the spider of course use the glue there when I install it now inside the speaker and it fit it fit perfect what I'm doing at this time I'm installing shim uh, so it keep the coil away from the magnet area that little piece in the center so I'm adding some shims around it uh, before gluing this you want to make sure they don't touch you know the center usually I put around four of them but sometimes three will do all right it seems like it fit very well all right uh, no it's not gluing you know the spider to the speaker after you know the shims is still there there that's why I put the shim there the shim is not going to come out until the cone be installed as well and everything installed then you remove those shims all right let's just spend some time and create this uh, speaker cone as I say I'm yeah, putting some glue here to glue the cone together just was testing to see if it fit or not are you gluing the voice coil to the cone I'm gonna wait until it get dry let's cut the extra piece out and make sure it fit and let's glue uh, this glue it down make sure it's secured after gluing it I'm getting a resistor putting a hole inside the speaker cone so I can run those two wires through the paper and solder it to the post so I'm making two small holes really one for each wire and then uh, I have to feed those wires through each hole so each of them going to be solder to those posts in the back and then you have to solder of course each of them make sure they're secure of course after that um, gluing the wires to the speaker cone to make them secure as you know this cardboard I cut a couple of them out and this will be glued back here like that to save time in this video i highly suggest watching rat house radio part six where i discuss in detail how to get a great result i'll be honest with you it takes so much time to make these videos editing uploading and make sure there's enough information that it actually makes sense you know if you want to follow at this time i want to take the opportunity and thanks my subscribers uh, with their uplifting comments you always encourage me to upload more videos since this is just a hobby of mine again i appreciate you enjoy all these videos and you all have an awesome day take care if you're interested to see more videos like this uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified uh, when a new video being uploaded you have a great day